Good morning, YouTube. Um, right now I'm getting ready because I have to go to a follow-up ultrasound. So at my last ultrasound when I was like 18, 19 weeks, um, they found that a part of my amniotic sac was not adhered to my uterine wall um, near my placenta. So they told me it was nothing to lose sleep over. Wasn't a thank you that it wasn't a big concern or whatever. But then when I went to my regular like appointment, Mama. I'm getting ready, boo boo. When I went to my regular appointment, they were asking me all these questions like, had my water leaked at all? Had I had any bleeding, any spotting? What? Sit. Yeah, Teddy gonna sit. Um, stuff like that. So it kind of made me worry a little bit. So now I'm a little anxious for this appointment. So ready for it to be over. Hopefully everything's okay. They also put me on like a weight lifting restriction. Um, let's see. Hold on, I'll show you exactly everything they were like that I needed to do at work. So, <clears throat> they wanted me to sit down, well, not stand for more than two hours, um, avoid lifting objects more than 25 pounds, avoid climbing ladders, make sure I drink plenty of water, 8 to 10 glasses of water a day, use the bathroom as much as often uh which if you're a nurse you know this stuff this doesn't Mama. happen or this shift really hmm. Mama. what Mama. are you th <laughs> thankfully i have like some people that i work with that are really good and they've been really helping me um do a bunch of stuff like they're great and then to make sure i report any bleeding cramping contractions decreased fetal movement immediately so but the baby moves fine she's doing great little little bump action for you so i am almost 23 weeks pregnant so i have to go for this follow-up appointment just to make sure that that part of my amniotic sac has adhered like it's supposed to normally that happens by 18 weeks but like i said my first ultrasound was when i was like 18 19 weeks so maybe it just hadn't happened yet which is what i'm hoping for which is what i'm gonna say and then everything's gonna be fine today so going to get ready my appointment's at 10 30 today it's eight o'clock but with a toddler you have to prepare Jimmy is on the way home. He worked third shift last night, so he'll stay here with Luna, and I'm going to go all by myself, which is perfectly fine with me. I'm already out of breath this pregnancy. It is what it is, so the deep breathing will probably continue from here on out. Yep, so I will. I'm going to get ready, and then I'm going to head to the doctors. I will update you when I get out and fingers crossed. Well, I'm not gonna even say fingers crossed. We're gonna know that everything's okay. Baby's good. She moves, she's been moving today. I always try, even if I'm work at work, sorry, I got a whole whammy here. Um, even if I'm at work, I always try, I, I've been doing what I've told. I've been sitting down, I asked for help, and I've been making sure she's moving. You wanna say hey? Say hey. Oh, no. No? You got a little bitty tiny fork? This is what she's been feeding her little lamby with. <laughs> Toddlers. Um, anyways. Mama. Gonna finish getting ready and I will Mama. catch up with you after my ultrasound. Mama.
gonna taste mine? Mm. Sure. I think I got you something different this time. Mm, mama. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's enough of that. You want a sweet potato? You'll like these. Bite it. No. Don't want okay. It. What'd you get you? The same thing you've been getting? Ah! 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 It's spicy, baby. It's hot. Ah! Ah! Ooh! That's a little spicy. Ah! That's sweet potatoes. Ah! That was a little hot, Jimmy. You see the baby? Yeah. You want your muffins? This hot, baby. It's hot and spicy. Okay, back from the doctor's. Just ate some lunch downstairs. Um, everything looks good. Baby is measuring in the 90th percentile. Um, she's already 1.6 pounds. <clears throat> They're not concerned about it. They don't really seem to care. Um, I asked about maybe having another ultrasound just to see how big she's getting. And they said that it would be up to my OB. So I went to a, um, a different doctor. I don't know what kind of doctor he is. Like a baby specialist doctor for this ultrasound. And, um, but I got some cute little pics of her. She looks a little nose. So, she's growing, so they don't seem to be worried. Um, but yeah. So, back home now, just hanging out with Jimmy. You've seen us eat some lunch. I went by a Tropical Smoothie Cafe and got a smoothie and, um, buffalo chicken flatbread thing. Yeah. So, we ate some lunch and everything seems to be going good. I'm about to put Luna down for her nap for the day. Let's go. Come bring your baby. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. Let me have this one. Okay. All right, let's cut the horn. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's gonna be any good? It's good. Or it's gonna taste like water. 
I thought it was supposed to be seedless. <laughs> it smells good. You want to bite? Yeah. Bite? Hold on, I'll give you a little piece. I thought this was supposed to be seedless watermelon, though. With With watermelon. This side. Bite this side. Mm. No. Oh, okay. No. It's really good. Hey. Got a lot of seeds though. Mm -hmm. My first ever watermelon. First ever. I seen this little trick on TikTok talking about how to um tell when they're ready. Like the little so the watermelon's attached to like a a little stalk that comes out and then there's a big main vine that will kind of go across. Across from that is like a little little twig looking thing. When that dies, the watermelon is supposed to be ready. Things will work. You want to cut up the cantaloupe? This cantaloupe, pretty sure is ready. This cantaloupe is bigger, but I'm not sure if it's ripe enough because this one got pulled off by a kid too early. Normally, I wait for the this little part to like detach on its own and that's how you kind of know that the cantaloupe's gonna be perfect. So I know this one's probably gonna be really good, but that one, I don't, I'm not sure, sure. Hey. You want a piece? No. Oh. That's a good cantaloupe. Okay, so this is what the inside of the other one looks like. It looks beautiful, but it is not ripe enough. It's it's crunchy and it's not sweet at all. So kind of disappointed because this probably would have been a really good size one. But that's okay. We got a couple more out there growing. So one out of all the ones I've grown, pretty pretty okay with me. So for supper tonight, we're going to have chili and jacket potatoes. I've been seeing this so much on my, like, what is it called, the TikTok or whatever. So I wanna try it, especially like just a baked potato and then you put the chili inside of it. Most recipes I see is just beans, but I'm gonna make chili to go inside of it with, um and top it with just like cheese and sour cream. So the chili crook cooks in the crock pot for most of the day. This is the recipe I have, a friend of mine, she makes the best chili, this is her recipe, so that's what I'm going by. Um, it's two packs of chili mix, two small cans of Rotel, but they didn't have any, so I just got one big one. Um, some diced potatoes, I got the basil, garlic, and oregano. She uses the dark red kidney beans, but I don't like kidney beans. So I always use pinto beans, which whatever, I don't think there's any rules. A pound of sausage, and then a pound of ground beef, and then just like some seasonings, obviously. You don't drain any of the cans, you just dump everything into the crock pot, and you cook it for about five to six hours. Okay, so that's what I'm about to do and um, that's what we're gonna have for supper tonight. Okay, so I got the hamburger and sausage in there and I just kind of like mushed it up, mixed it together with the my potato masher and now I'm just gonna dump everything on top. Okay, so I did rinse off the pinto beans because they do come in like a um, thicker kind of sauce or whatever. So I rinsed them off I'm just going to dump the tail and the tomato and I'm probably going to add like um two cans of water to this. I might do some beef broth. I think I have beef broth. Okay, so I'm going to do two cans of the unsalted beef broth. I 
All right, looks good. It's gonna cook about five to six hours. It's 11 o'clock now, so it should be ready about four or five-ish, which should be perfect. You're gone now, or you call me back. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. You're the traveling kind. It's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. Mm. Once you've seen all the things, all the places, I hope it means that you come home to me. Once you've traveled the world. I've been watching are from like British people so I think when they've been saying 200 degrees for an hour they're meaning Celsius so I think I'm supposed to have my oven set at 400 degrees so the potatoes are basically not cooked so I turned the oven up to 400 I'm popped some in the microwave they're not gonna be the crispy ones for um, a seat for dinner but I'm gonna eat a little one from the microwave and then I'm gonna wait and try to eat one of the crispy ones out of the oven in about an hour from now. I turned the oven up to 425, which is a recipe I found online. So we're gonna see, but I wanted to taste the chili. This is what the chili's looking like. Mm. Delicious. It's so good. Um I forgot to add ketchup earlier. I just noticed that. So, yeah, add ketchup. <laughs> but um, this is really good. I'm very excited for the potatoes to be done. I'm starving. It is like five o'clock, and I, I, I don't think I ate anything for lunch. Oh no, I did. I fixed a bowl of noodles, and noodles for lunch, and I didn't even eat them all because they weren't that great. So hopefully these potatoes are done. I'm gonna whip us up some potatoes with chili and I will show them to you. Gordon. Okay. Butter. No, you can't sit on there, baby. I know that is so mean to that baby. My little mini. Look at this mini teeny tiny cheese grater. That's butter, you don't need it. This is the cheese <clears throat> Mama. that we're, I'm using. Mama. What? What is that? What is what? What is it? Is something on your finger? All right, so, but it's been working. So, cheese. And cheese. And the chili. All the places I hope it means that you'll come home to me once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart. in the crispy crust versus the regular crust would be but look at that spot. I don't know if you supposed are you supposed to eat the crust? Look at that spot. I don't know. But oh, skin. Oh, oh skin, yeah. sorry. 
I made sweet potato too. The sweet potato kind is good. Mm. It is delicious. I mean, I love it. It got a lot of. Like, I don't know. It's really good. I like it. I would, I would like to try it with just the beans. Like, kind of like how it's supposed to be ate or whatever. But. I think it's really good like this with the chili. Especially if you have a really good chili recipe that you make that you really like. Chili is good over the sweet potato too. So, want to be a little bit healthier, you can do a sweet potato. But, anyway. Gotta eat this. Got some brownies in the oven we're gonna have for later. Well, good morning again. Um, I meant to in this video last night but i forgot we ate our brownies and me and jimmy went upstairs and we watched some everybody loves raymond and then we was asleep so i forgot you but last night the um baby registry box that you get from amazon came so i thought i would just show you what you get in there um i don't know if it's changed over the years or if it's the exact same stuff but when you make the um registry on amazon once you buy one thing off that Am that registry you get this box um you don't have to pay for shipping or anything like that so here i'll show you what i have in here and then we'll end this video because it's pretty long okay so <clears throat> let's open it up it looks like it's been um beat up but i don't think anything in here is breakable so Okay, so right on top here, it's just a bunch of like coupons. So this is the little bag. And in here you get a baby swaddle. I think this is the exact same stuff that I got last time. Baby swaddle. I got this with Luna. So this hasn't really changed much. Um, what is this? This is a gift for you. I don't know. This is just tips. Pit for bath time, feeding, traveling. Just tips for baby. Um, what is this? This is some laundry soap. So the CeraV baby. Last time I took this with me to the hospital, but then I ended up not bathing Luna at the hospital. So I just use it here. <clears throat> this is a bottle from Ma'am. We're trying to put the baby in the box. So the Ma'am bottle, which this is not for you, and it also comes with a little pacifier, which these are my favorite pacifiers. So, Luna didn't take one, but a pacifier. But you can't have this, Baba. This is for the baby. Um, But if this baby takes one, it'll probably be those man Popeyes, because I just don't like those big ones. I think I've said it before. I don't like that big pacifier, like, over my baby's nose. Especially when they're little like that. Okay, here, you can hold it. This is some um, Palmer's Cocoa Butter Skin Oil and Search Mark Lotion. This is a little, a little onesie. She took the bottle, she ran away. <laughs> So just a little onesie and it says it's size three to six months so that's cute i'm sure she'll wear it she wore the last one the last one said hello world or something um one of those macro bars that were the coupon was for so i can try that and then this is some lancelin milk bags and um nursing pads 
And then some Aquaphor for baby's booty. That's it. That's going to be it for this video. It's been a long one. I'm going to go enjoy my coffee. It is a rainy, stormy day. We had, um, there was a hurricane, supposed, well, a tropical storm supposed to be coming, but I think it's pretty much like just dissipated and it's mostly just like gonna be a regular storm coming but outside is just dreary and dark and rainy and it just looks terrible so um but yeah i'm gonna go enjoy my coffee hang out with luna for a little while and yeah i will see you next time bye